Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to talk hammocks, or specifically, this little O Obdo. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to talk about this hammock. All right, so if you're interested in learning a little bit about a hammock, stick around. Dang, this looks like a cliff. I mean, this looks like a, this is a cliff. All right, I can do it. I can do it. Hang on, let me figure out which way we go. I think we stay, sh I don't know. Yeah, no big deal. So I got introduced to this company and they sell this hammock on Amazon. Super simple, easy to shop on Amazon. We all like it. This thing is under 25 bucks. I have never slept in a hammock. I didn't think I would ever be interested in one, but I know a lot of people that use them. I mean, let's face it, if you're backpacking or if you're, you know, moto camping, these things pack up small. And this is it. Just everything came in this little package and I'll show you what you get. So first thing, and this was pretty simple, I've, I've never had one, but you get two tree straps, right? Now, tree straps can go many ways. They've got a couple loops on them so you can go around the tree and their little directions give you some, some ideas of how to secure it to the tree. So there's two of those nice long straps and then there's another bag that has Inside this bag, I found a couple of tent stakes and two like tent ropes. And I'll show you what those are for. So inside here, and what was really neat is the bag stays attached, okay? So it's literally the halfway point to the hammock. So when you open this hammock up, each end has its own carabine, D-ring, whatever you're gonna call it, an attachment point. So again, you put the strap around the tree, this hooks into the strap, and there you go. Uh, it has its own bug net, so it's got a mosquito net attached to it. So the other end is 100% identical. All right, so Literally no instructions, you can set this thing up, right? Now, again, I'm telling you, I'm a rookie. So spending $25 on something and then it not work was way better than some of the pricey ones. So this one picked it up and to my surprise, I took a nap in. Uh, it's a beautiful winter day here in Texas. The the bag hangs off the side about in the middle. So unzip it, get inside, zip yourself in there. On each side, you'll find a string or a loop, sorry. You take your string here, go through the loop, tent stake, and you stake it out. So you can hold it nice and wide and get in. I didn't do that. I got in and I quickly learned that after multiple times of setting it up, you would learn how you want your head or how you want your feet higher, lower. That would take some playing around and getting used to. Uh, I moved myself around a little bit and I felt it was like sleeping in my recliner, which I, I, I tend to fall asleep there a lot. And I used to think I could never sleep in one of these. I'm a stomach sleeper. But today, and it's like 68 degrees, it's middle of January, sun was out, and, and I set this thing up and I took some photos and took my shoes off and I crawled in. I actually had my wife zip me up and I thought, eh, it's not, not bad. And I mean, this thing is super light. Uh, this I, I think would help maybe I, I don't know I was I was pretty comfortable I knew after like 
20 minutes or 30 minutes, I was going to go to sleep. I knew my feet were a little high. So, like I said, I think I would set it up in the backyard and I would play with those heights. And then I would get a gauge on the tree of, of where on me. So I wanted my head up here, my feet down here or something. So get that gauge and then you can set it up quickly. Cause I mean, it sets up literally no time at all. Uh, you just run one strap around one tree, hook it, run strap around another tree, hook it, and you're done. Um, when it comes to putting it away, everything folds into this bag and I've done it probably different ways every time and it always seems to work. So, I mean, it's simple. It does, the little directions um, has some ideas about a rain fly. It doesn't come with a rain fly and that would be simple enough, so they give you directions. So, you can see that's all tucked in there. And now what they did was they just rolled these up. I'll show you. So, we're just rolling them up, put them right back in the bag. I mean, it was, it was simple. And like I said, if you're, in an area with trees and mountains or whatever the case may be, or you live in a wooded area, I think you could do it. Uh, run the string across from D-ring to D-ring, throw your tarp over there, give you a rain fly, man, you're, you're set. And, and it was surprisingly comfortable. That's it, that's all there is to it. They had this rubber band around there. All right, so Obdo has a couple tie-offs on each side so you can stake it out, one on each side. A little pocket for your phone, hook for your keys or flashlight so you don't lose it. Comes with its own mosquito net. Comes with a couple straps. So you can see just different options depending on how high or how low. Um, laying in it here, my feet were too high. Um, so yeah. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. O O B D O. Uh, got off Amazon under twenty-five dollars. So if you're looking to try out hammock sleeping i think it's a super option um why go out and spend a bunch of money on something that you don't think you're gonna like uh, this thing folds up super small i mean comparison to my cell phone i mean it's super small super convenient i, I think it'd be a great purchase the little directions have a, a couple suggestions as far as different things how to use it with a rain fly and hooking it to a tree couple tent stakes. I mean, yeah, good purchase. So, all right, <clears throat> I think that wraps it up. So if you're interested in an entry level hammock, look them up on Amazon. All right, I hope you got something out of the video. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you'll be notified next time a video comes out. All right, thanks, have a great day. Thanks for watching.